What's up everyone? Welcome to Program Your Remote. Today I'm going to show you where the spare tire, the jack, and the tools you'll need to change a flat tire are located in the GMC Sierra. This is a 2018 Sierra here, but it will be the same on a few different years. This will also be the same on some Chevy Silverados. So our spare tire is located in the rear of the vehicle up underneath, but our jack and the tools we'll need to get the spare tire down are going to be located inside the vehicle. So if we look in the back seat, and we're going to start on the passenger side, and we flip the back seat up, we're going to see our jack right here. And how you're going to get that down is if you just loosen this or turn it counterclockwise, it'll lower the jack a little bit and you'll be able to pull that out. So now if we go and we take a look at this side, this is going to be behind the driver's seat, and we flip this up. Um, we're gonna see this tool pouch right here. That's gonna contain our lug nut wrench and the tools we'll need to get our spare tire down. And there's this wing nut on top. I've already got this one loosened, but you'll just loosen that up, spin it counterclockwise, and then that whole piece will pull off of there like that. So once you have that tool pouch, we're gonna to head to the back of the vehicle and I'll see you back there in the next shot. Okay, so we have our tools that we just took out and we're gonna to get to those in a second. But the first thing we need to do is take our ignition key. And if you look just to the right of the license plate, you're gonna see this little piece here. And this is gonna flip open. And there's a key cylinder in there. What you wanna do is put your key in there and then turn it to the right, about a quarter of a turn, and then pull that straight out. And it can take a good amount of pressure to get that out. Once you get it out, you can just set it to the side. Now, if we take a look at our tools, and if yours still has this clip on there, as this one does, you can just slide it off like that and set that to the side. Bump these in. So we're gonna have four pieces total here. Um, the piece that has this little tip on it like that, that little hook, we're not gonna use that one right now, so we can set that to the side. If we take a look at these three remaining pieces and we take the two straight ones, You'll notice on both of them, one end is flared, and on the other one, it's a little skinnier with this push, push pin right there. So we're just gonna hook them together, put the skinnier one in the flared end like that. And then what we wanna do is take our flared end, and we're gonna put it in this slot where we just took that key cylinder out of. You're gonna slide it in, and then you'll kind of feel there's a nut that that flared end is grabbing onto, and you can kind of feel it. Once you get it there, it won't turn like that. So then we wanna take the lug nut wrench and we're gonna hook it on here. And you wanna do it so that this is pointing away. This part is pointing away from your bumper. That'll just give you a little bit more room. So once you get this on there, we're just gonna crank this to our left or counterclockwise. And as we do that, it's gonna lower the tire. So after it hits the ground, just crank a little bit more to give yourself a little more slack. It should be about good. And now let's take a closer look at this tire. So to get our tire unhooked, what we need to do is lift it up. And underneath, we need to take this piece and it sits in there horizontal and you want to turn it vertical. And that allows that just to slide up. And you can push the rest of that cable up out of the way. So if you couldn't see in there, what happened was this is sitting like this. You just pick it up, turn it like that, and then it goes straight out. So that's it, pretty simple. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you could take a second to like and subscribe, it helps us out and I'd appreciate it. Thank you.